I don't think the nine it's not even goes, looked, does No, it? does the nine go in the corner by no. itself? Uh -uh. No, it doesn't go. Well, the, the combination's headed like behind the three ball, mm -hmm. so that's not going to work. The only fortunate thing, if he can get there, is the eight's near the nine ten to open it up. I mean, there's nothing else really to open it with where you'd have insurance unless you did it off the six with the seven there in front of the side. But in the meantime, he's got to fade the three to the four and he's the four ducking. to the five. He's ducking. He's ducking. Is he going underneath it? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good play. Not quite enough English on the cue ball, but he got the six to block the three anyway. This is a fairly easy hit. Go right past the five by the point. Go right, you know, but he might scratch off the three up the back side, right? Well, you're definitely hitting the short rail if you go past the five and miss the seven. You, I don't think you can go one rail into the three. Maybe he can, but I don't think so. Can't hit right here? Oh, he can hit there, but I think, does that take him right at the three, or he actually could go around it and not hit it at all? Yeah, I think he's going to go in behind, yeah. To go behind it, I think you got to twist it with a little left and hit yeah, just before yeah. the point, lengthen it out a little bit. But then you risk the back scratch. Yeah. Now keep in mind, too, that 9-10 is still a problem. So regardless of what happens, someone's going to have to deal with it. And the 4 to the 5 is going to play real tough, depending on what might happen. Don't hit the nine. Oh. Did, well, unless he got a got a good break by hooking him, I don't think he did. I think he did. Shane shaking his head. Can't make no, it. He but can't he, look. he? Yeah, can't he can't. It. But he can, can, can he bank it. it? Can he bank it? Cross no, corner. Uh -uh. No. The nine's in the way. I think the nine's in the way. Okay. I think because it's a, it's it, it it would certainly get him on the four ball. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. The nine might just have it covered. And it's, cl and it's close. Yeah, it's, it's, close. it's real close. Maybe, I think he's maybe just going to shoot and try to. Maybe if we can get uh, Vincent's camera to give us a look at that, we can see whether how much of the three he's actually got. He hits about a third of the ball. Okay. He showed it a minute ago. You know, I don't know. He can go rail first, I think, and make the three, it looks like, from this angle. Doesn't it? I think the eight's got too much blocked. I think he'd yeah. have to twist the crap out twist of it. Yeah. Yeah. Andy, can we get a shot on Vincent's camera here? See about that three ball? Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. See, I'll, Bobby? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, no, he, See, the first time we flashed on that, right. I, I knew he couldn't get under the eight, but it, looked, no, it, look, it looks good for the cross, but he is going, he is looks like he's going to twist it. That's a great camera shot there. Thanks, Vincent. Thank you, Andy. Maybe we can, uh, well, now we know how it's laying. He looks like he wants to go real first under it. I'm not, so I, I think that's his only shot. Well, he, he ain't getting on the four. If he makes it, he's going to hit the nine ball. But it's almost, a, it's almost a survival shot, Cotton. You know, it's like all you can do to stay at the table. Well, now he he's, now he he's in worse shape. He could have hit the three and just bounced out. Bounced it out of there. Yeah. Played yeah. safe and just shot the three. And you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I thought he could have just played safe, but. Boy, it's a big game here. Oh, huge. <laughs> 18 with him breaking, needing three pack, needing, needing three games. It's a huge game. He's kicking one rail. Missed, missed the point. Well, he had to make sure he missed the point so he'd hit the ball. But he did hit the ball, didn't he? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a I good hit. I could see he was in no, the way. No, it's a, it's a good hit. Does the five pass the nine? Uh, yes, but it's close. He you got to be kind of. He can rub it down the rail, you know. He can. Like yeah, but, but he might. He needs he a might little angle on it to get out for the six, though. He might go into the five right here. I Just think that's. I think that's the play. Yeah. I think you got to go into the five here. Just nudge it, knock it up the rail four or five inches or whatever. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't hit this very firm. I did just enough to move the five, because in case you happen to miss the six, he you might, might hook him. He might even hit the hit the nine here with the cue ball. You know what I mean? Stop the cue ball by hitting the nine. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. That's, that's what, what he's, he's looking at. Yeah, just just nudging the nine. 
Uh huh. Oh, it's Let's closed. get. Uh, maybe we can uh, get the other camera. Maybe we can get Tim's camera on this. There we go. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it looks like it's right at the nine. Oh, oh yes, yeah. beautiful shot. I like what the way you did that. Shot. I was thinking he's going to hit the f other side of the nine. I didn't know. Oh, he did you? Yes, oh, yeah. see now, I I definitely thought he was going to try to hit it full in the face and there, like that. like that. Right, right. Yeah. Because that way he had a better chance of, st of slowing the cue ball down oh, and yeah. getting a good look at the I five. I didn't know he could hit it from that side. You yeah, know? boy, he he hit that really well. And that one too. Look yeah. at that thing hug the rail. And that's not that's not an easy shot. No, either. it's not. <laughs> Not past you those get points. Past the point, they're like, oh yeah. boy, you know, because sometimes you're trying to get hugged rail and you shoot it right to the point. Right, or you're too conscious of the point and you miss the ball because you you're making sure you, you miss the point. <laughs> right, and then you hit it into the far point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I know it's crazy. Ain't it? It's crazy. It's crazy. Well, Cotton, we're like three tap-ins here from a two-game lead for Ko Pin Yi. And he definitely can smell the finish line here if he can get these last uh, four and colors. He's a, yeah, and he's breaking. He still hasn't had much success on his break. He, when he makes a ball, he doesn't have a shot. But he's actually outmoved Shane the last three or four racks. Watch him get Don't jacked up over the ball. Yeah. <laughs> he figured he'd get straight in and jacked ja up yeah. before he, oh, he could just roll the ball in. Yeah, and then what? <laughs> I'm telling you. This is a crazy situation. Well, he's actually straight here, too. He's got to snap this back and around the nine, doesn't he? No, oh, no, he had an he angle. He had a little okay. bit of an angle, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, this has been nothing but one dramatic rack after the next. I don't care that the play hasn't been... Uh, you know, world championship caliber. I think it, it has. Well, it, it has, it, it yeah. has and it hasn't. Yeah, there's been a few mistakes. But, but it's there's been, been some, there's been some great shots also. But it's been world championship excitement because mm -hmm. this this is still in doubt, oh, and I it's going to stay in doubt until the last ball is made. If he breaks dry here and Shane runs out, then breaks and runs out. He, I mean, he he could easily pass him up here. Well, now we're at the point in the match where either guy could stay in his chair until they shake hands. Yes. Nine on the side, no shot in the one. And again, look, look at, at the at cluster. Look at the cluster, the two, three, eight. Well, right now, though, at this stage of the match, that's not a bad thing. Well, it isn't in a way because you know if they're all wide open, yeah. he has he has no margin for error in playing safe. Yeah, yeah. Now, if he even makes a bad kick or a bad push, it's not an automatic run out for, for the other guy. I would back kick this, but I'd and be real careful I didn't send it at the 2-3. That's the difficulty here. I'd want to back kick it towards the side, but getting it anywhere near the 2-3 could leave my opponent a chance to pocket the ball and open the cluster. Now, well, if, he c if he can just graze it and thin it and put it behind the 6, use the 5 as a blocker or 3 rails. Yeah, this is what I like. I didn't know he could. Yeah, cue ball needs to come. Cue ball needs to keep coming. I don't think he can see it. Yeah, what do you think? He, he's, uh, he ain't got much of a shot at it. He can, he can hit it. No, but I think he's got to run into the five ball if he makes it. So I don't know that he, it's a playable shot. If the five wasn't there, I think he'd take a whack at it and come behind the two eight. But it doesn't really look like it's laying that well to do that. I 
How much do, um, for example, Shane just scratched. That, I knew that was coming. How much are the matches, like if you want to just watch tomorrow, if you buy the match, do you have any idea? What you mean on the pay-per-view? Yeah. Uh, I honestly don't know. Uh, Justin certainly, uh, I'm sure, has that up on the uh, CSI yeah, I'm uh, sure. page. Yeah, yeah. But I, 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 I believe it's probably, on a, you know, under 10 or 15 dollars yeah, for the it's day it's like it's like when we were doing the stuff in the studio uh you know it was 15 a day or 50 for the weekend or yeah. something but but i know it's it's going to be you know something reasonable especially yeah. for what you're seeing oh yeah for sure you're getting to watch the best players in right. the world from all these different countries it can't get no better than right. that and of course, uh, CSI's uh, on-demand sites now uh, loaded up with plenty <coughs> of stuff, especially from the recent U.S. Bar Box and mm -hmm. some of the uh, all the podcasts, uh, some of the new stuff with Ozzy and Mark. So certainly worth a look there. I guess the two goes down in the corner. It looks like, huh? He's trying to just roll up. Well, I would assume so, because if it didn't, he'd play the one on the side and try to break the cluster yeah, open. It goes straight in the corner. He's just got to get in past the past the dot. Like that. Perfect. Right. Yeah, he may wind up playing the three in the same pocket as the two. It does, I don't know if he can draw this into the rail and out for the three in the side. I'd be oh, careful. You know, I could didn't pop it over there and just come out there and shoot the three in the yeah, corner. Yeah, that's possible there. too. It depends. It depends on ball. the angle. I I I think it, it's all about whether he's uh, yeah. he's straight or he's cutting it. You can't really tell from here. It looks like he's going to come out and shoot the three down here. Yeah. Look he, at this. He missed the deuce. Again, that's that's more of a case of playing all cue ball <sighs> and taking I mean, the shot for granted, and that's been probably what most of the mistakes have resulted from what that we've huge, seen. What a huge miss that was, Ken. With ball in hand, and he played a perfect shot on the one ball. He uh, got in the best spot he could on the two. Perfect, and then the, and shot yeah. it right to the rail. Man. Very, very surprising. That's unbelievable. And that would have, that would have given him a, a three Play game a that's going to drop. It won't drop on Wednesday, but it did today. Yeah, I mean, Ping Yi was looking at a three-rack lead, needing two, two games, games and breaking. And uh -huh. his opponent was sort of on mini tilt because of look the at this, mistake. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah, that one's going to go too. How did this ball go? It's, it's, still, it's still playing soft. Neither, of those, neither of those balls are going to go, you know, in a couple of days. In a few I days. Mean, even, I mean, not even close. No. He hit the diamond. Well, one thing, too, and I, I think it's worth mentioning, neither guy uses powder. So there's no powder on the table. The balls have remained pretty fresh. Uh -huh. um, both guys are careful when they put the chalk down on the rail. They usually put it down, you know, properly, not the uh, Filipino upside down chalk on the rail move. So uh, <laughs> their, ha their is hands. That what they, is that what they do? Well. I hate to say it, but the worst offender of the bunch is Efren. He puts the chalk upside down. Every time without fail, but I think I know the reason why. Why? Well, and I'm just guessing. I think it's so humid in the Philippines that when they play, the chalk tends to cake up a little bit from the wetness. And when they put it down, by they actually even tap it a little, maybe get some of the crumbs out. Now, that's just a, a theory. I don't know if there's any substance to it. I've never really... You know, I'm not going to ask Efren why he does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although he is the he, he he he's the worst offender of all of them. Really, I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah, yeah that's funny. It's just uh, I just think it's 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 how they started. It's it's not you know it's not anything I think he does consciously. It's like all of us we all have our own way of chalking our cue and putting the chalk down or this and that and you know after you've done it for years you just that's the way you do it. Years but ago. it's just worth mentioning, you know, that I think the equipment is is benefiting from the fact that both players are careful with the chalk and, and don't use powder. Years ago when I was traveling, playing, pulling the road, I'd 
I, you know, always play loser breaks, you know, with the wood rack. Mm -hmm. And I lose a game, I throw the rack away on the table. <laughs> Make, Make my opponent dig. Hey, can't you put the rack in the thing? I said, oh, just get it out of there, buddy. Yeah. I throw it way into there and piss them off. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can you believe this? Straight in the side. And look at the one. Look at this. He, you think he's going to shoot the 110? No way. No. I think there's too much distance between the balls. You think so? And the rack looks like it's, uh, I'm just looking if there's any difficulty connecting from one to the one other. Two. No, he's no, shooting. No, he ah, is. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't, I'd well, maybe. I'd shoot it. I don't know. I, I, no, sometimes I think this is the only way you can't win the rack. But, you know, at this caliber, it's probably the right shot, Robert. I would shoot it. Yeah, it's probably the right shot. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm going to take a look at the layout. I mean, it looked like maybe, you know, the two's up little, here, yeah. the four's down there, then he's got to come all the way yeah, back. Yeah, it was, was a, a lot of cue ball of travel. Things, a couple of things there could have went wrong. I like shooting up with the... And but, plus, but here, we couldn't see the angle. It might have been just like straight. It, it could have been, yeah. Head, it, you, know. I, you know, if there was any kind of big cut there, I, I might have shied away from it. But now yeah, we're it pretty 19 good. to 17. And now he's got a chance not only to get a three-game lead, but break for the match if he wins this game. If he breaks this, if he runs out here, he's on the hill. And he's breaking for the match, yeah. Uh, it's not... You know, it's not often that we've seen the South Dakota kid in this position in these extended races. I mean, he's certainly got a, an opponent of equal caliber. Shane's break has let him down the past half hour or so. It has. He's been breaking kind of goofy last yeah, couple. Yeah, he's lost the cue ball. I mean, when do you see Shane scratch straight in the side on the break? Yeah. Kick in maybe, but straight in? Yeah, that don't happen often. No. He broke those oh, good. Oh, that was this great. Break. This is his best break Look of the this match. Break. This, this is his break. best break of the match. It's all going to be about getting on the three, the two's down, and there's a lot of traffic there. How are you going, well, I know. What are you going to do here? You're going to go two rails in behind it? I like two rails short and play in the three in the other corner. Uh, exactly. Yep. That's yep. What because, I'm doing. because then you're right on the four in the upper corner. Right. If it doesn't go in the side, and if it goes in the side, you're perfect. You're right there for the five. You got to go two rails in behind. The I three. like it two and rails if you short. Shoot too hard, you might even shoot the three in that far corner. You down could there. do that you know, too, or off, or off the six exactly. in the side. You got to get behind the three. You yeah. got to get down here. I think if he plays this forward with left and takes a thin cut on the three or tries to go through a gap here, it's the wrong oh, choice. Yeah. He got to use low right here. He's low got right. yeah. He's got to he's got to be deep in that corner. But he's got the perfect angle to do mm -hmm. it. I think he, he's looking at that at that two out of the corner here now. Now he's got to use low right here, if Cannon. I think so. Yeah, but but it's a stretch too for oh, him to do that. that. It's hard to reach for he's him. Is he he's using inside here? I'm looking at how he's going to cue. No, it. no, he's got to go. He's look at the good camera work. All right, that's a great shot. He's. He's trying to split the, the gap between the 10 and I the 4. I don't like this. I don't like well, this. Well, if he got there, I like it. And I think he did get there. That's and you know what? That's shot in history if he got. I mean, oh, he had a, that's he a had, pretty He big had gap. a bigger hole than we could that's see. That's a bigger gap. Yeah, look, was, look at this. This is perfect. This is ball in hand position. And the oh, 4 yeah. goes in the side where the cue ball is. Yes. And it's natural. Just pinch it over like an inch, and he's right there. Maybe 2, so you have the proper uh -huh. angle to go to the 5 in the same side. You mm -hmm. don't have to go with the mm -hmm. 8. I like six inches. Like this. Yep. Now you can play the five in the corner because the six is sitting in front of the hole on the other side. Yeah, I definitely might play for the five in the corner here. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to risk. I'd shoot the five in the side. Well, it, you know, it, it, if you can get nice and close to it, yeah. Yeah. Either yeah. way, yeah, just yeah. roll up. Just roll up. He might draw into the ten and stop the cue ball here, and that really helped the angle on the five. And now. It should be slide the bead and rack them up. But as simple as this looks. Ain't nothing simple. In, in, <laughs> in the moment, <laughs> when you're it up looks there. like the world's toughest out. Exactly. Like how, what do I, yeah, where do I shoot the six? All of thinking? a sudden, you forget how to yeah. think. Where do I shoot the six at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah the other side. Yeah. Wow. Now, do you draw back or you go down? 
I don't like drawing. I draw. I, I draw it. I don't. I can't I don't, see his I, angle. Yeah, it depends on the angle. Yeah, he's going to draw it. I like drawing it two feet. That's okay. That'll work. Hard to draw that ball like that though, yeah, with is. accuracy. You yeah, know it what I mean? It's like yeah, it is. you might dog your stroke and draw it a half inch. Or you may overcut the ball and make it, and your cue ball's up in the kitchen somewhere, too. Look at this. He's fixing to be on the hill. This could be one of those matches, Cotton, where you, later on you're going to say, people, if you weren't there, you wouldn't have believed it. And it's not, I mean, it, it's not like. Uh, it's, it's an upset. I mean, certainly Shane came in as, as, as a slight favorite. Well, I, but heard, I, don't I heard in a couple of places that they said he wasn't a favorite. Well, if he was, it wasn't by much. Yeah. But at the same time, um, this guy that he's playing, I mean, he's made of iron. Hard to bet against Shane in this match, you know? I mean. Yeah. So especially here we are. Especially this long of a race, I thought, you know, he would have run a four or five pack, which he hasn't, you know, because he usually does. You know, Copin Yee has put the South Dakota kid in a position he's rarely in. He's got there's he's got to win four consecutive racks from this point and he's in his chair. Shane has no bullets left. No mistakes. Right now all he wants to do is stand up and put his cue in his hand and go to the table. And if this is anything to indicate what's going to come for the next eight days, boy, are we lucky. <laughs> so here he goes for the breaking for the last time in the match. And here you've got to be careful you don't get too amped up and lose the cue ball. You can't scratch here. Anything but a scratch. Held the cue ball, made, made the nine in the ball. side. He's going to have a shot at the one, maybe a bank, but he's got to look at uh, it. He's, he's, he'll cut this ball. And uh, is, is it, is it two pass the seven? Yeah, if he got. It, got to yeah. be close to it? Yeah, but yeah. It, it go. It'll okay, go. there we go, Vincent. Thank you. Just roll it, it in. It'll go. It'll slide by two. Yeah. You like the cut here versus the, the oh, bank? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, how are you going to get on the two if you're cutting it? You can't, you can't hold that cue ball. Well. It's too thin. Um, Even if you go hit long rail, long rail, and bounce out, you're middle of the table. Um, That's why I like the bank, mm. where you get a, you you send the cue ball at the eight, and if you miss the bank, you know you want to miss it short, so it comes maybe you know no, to the first he's diamond. Gotta, he's got to cut this ball. I really believe. Well, I, then I, then he's got to try to run into the eight with the cue ball. Either run into the eight or maybe run into the two, possibly. Well, running into the two, I it's think. It's tricky. I, I think it could make matters worse. You could wind up with no pocket. Running into the eight, you risk scratching in the side. Well, he might be banking it, but I wouldn't. It's not that hard of a cut. You know what I mean? Just we'll see. No, it's the shape. Yeah. He but tried to hit the two from behind. Really, you know, because yeah. across the side is not e is, is easy as a hanger. You know what I mean? Well, but I like I like going toward the two. Okay. That's how I would have shot it. Well, I think he's got to bank it and come three rails to about where he is now. Or he oh, can, can he hold it? Stop. He can might can just I, twist oh, it, it in. It looked to me like he's got to cut the ball where he, he's not. It's not a straight on bank, but maybe no, it is. Cut it like a. Just an eighth of a ball? With a lot of right English and spins. Hold it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And throws it in the hole. All right. I believe. Well, that's the best angle to shoot the three at anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's just a question of does it make the shot play harder or, or tougher? It's so close. He's so close to being. If he was over like a smidgen to, to, to the right, where he'd have like a better angle, you know? Yeah. Did I eat your chips? Was all those yours? Well, they were. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Look, he, look, he did. He went like he went around the table. Yeah. Well, I think that just laid speed-wise better for cinching the ball. Yeah. Now but he just got to roll can, up he and can, shoot the four on the side. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But here's this is the shot where you've got to make sure you also pay attention to the object ball. You know, don't get too enamored with just the cue ball. Well, he's good. 
Oh boy, Robert, this is getting just each ball he makes, it's actually getting a little easier now. He's got to go to the bottom rail, I think. Yeah. I don't think he can stay there. Right about back where the four is, is exactly where he wants to be. And he got it. He got there. All right, this is just keep your composure. I mean, once you get on the six, it's going to be pretty hard not to get out here. Uh, it's over now. Katie bar the door here. Center of the table with the cue ball. There you go. There Spin you are. Spin up the rail. Yeah, low left. Center of the table again. This is quite a performance. Now he's shooting left-handed. Don't miss cue here. Oh, he's going to the corner. Oh, it's okay. I don't like this. Ah. He knows he's not going to miss now. He knows. This is quite a performance, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. What a great, great, great performance by Ko Pin Yi. He wins the Kamui Challenge 21 to 17 over Shane Van Boning. And ladies and gentlemen, it's just been an honor to sit here and watch all of this with you. Very, very exciting fun, match. Cotton, thanks again. Enjoy doing it. Thank you, Mr. Joe Destro. Appreciate it. Well, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we're not going to bother trying to go talk to players, I don't believe. No, I wouldn't. And uh, we're just going to let them yeah. enjoy it and uh, take a little bit of an early night here. Um, let me check with Justin to see if this is going to loop for everybody. He says it is, and that should begin shortly. It'll loop all night. We'll be back on the air live with you for the CSI Invitational 10 Ball at 11 a.m. Pacific tomorrow. On behalf of my partner, Cotton LeBlanc, and Billy Incardona, this is Ken signing off for CSI. We'll see you in the morning, everybody. Good night.